Minnesota finally pulled off the expected move where they (laughs) promoted Clint Kubiak to offensive coordinator. And I can't tell you anything about Clint Kubiak as a play caller. Nobody can, for he has never called plays. But I can tell you what he has done as a quarterback coach and also offensive assistant in the NFL. So we'll do that. So he is a younger guy. I know a lot of Viking fans wanted that. He's 33. So there is that part of it. Um, But his average years, like at Denver, he was the uh, offensive assistant slash quarterback coach. From 2016 all the way through 2018. Now, his averages really weren't that great when you look at just the statistics of the quarterback. Uh, 60.2% uh, averaged 3,837 yards, 6.7 yards per attempt, 11 yards per completion, 19 touchdowns, 16 interceptions, and averaged a rating of 79.4. So, with arguably the first, well, arguably the best seasons that he had there or season either his first or his last and the middle one just wasn't very good at all so because if you want to go by rating his first one's the best if you want to go by some completion percentage and or yards 2018's his best there uh yards per attempt 2016 yards per completion also 2016 uh his touchdown to interception ratios also 2016, so, but 59.5% that year, so it's kind of like, hmm, don't really like that, and then he comes over to Minnesota, and obviously we have Kirk Cousins here throughout his, you know, entire time from, you know, the last two years now, um, the average year has been 68% 68% for 3,997 yards, 8.1 yards per attempt, 12 yards per completion, scoring 30 touchdowns to 10 interceptions with a quarterback rating of 104.6. Those are the averages. So what was the big difference? And I would say quarterback quality. And I know everyone likes to kind of attack Kirk and be like, we should trade him right now. Like, that's kind of the fun thing. But overall, I think we would all agree Kirk is probably a better alternative to some of these things they were working with. So, from 2016 through 2018, they had five different quarterbacks start games. And by start games, they all started at least two. So, Trevor Simeon in 2016 started the vast majority. He went 8-6 and six that year. Paxton Lynch 1-1 one and one on their way to a 9-7 campaign. Trevor Simeon the next year also led the way 5-5 five and five at 500. Osweiler 0-4. Oh Paxton Lynch 0-2. Oh and, and then Keenum was 2018 at 6-10. And, and this combined for a 20-28 20 and 28 uh, record. I don't usually like to put records on quarterbacks, but I know some do, so we're going to throw them into the pile. Uh, Trevor Simeon was the best one by record, uh, going 13 and 11. And if you go through Minnesota's last two years starting quarterbacks, you have Kirk Cousins in 2019, 10 and 5. Sean Mannion started one game because that one game did not matter and it felt like a preseason game against the Bears that year. And then you had Cousins starting all 16 in 2020, going 7-9. and nine. So they're 17-15 and 15 overall, and Cousins is 17-14. and 14. So I think there's a pretty vast quarterback quality difference when you're talking either Case Keenum or Trevor Simeon is the best quarterback he had to work with in Denver during those days. Um, And both of them haven't been a starter, basically, since those days. And there's probably a reason for that. (laughs) So, now, I can't... I don't know what he's going to be as a play caller, but I am, just based on the numbers here, I'm more inclined to believe that production in Denver is more based on the quarterbacks he had to work with. Because even if you want to look at some of the stats that did translate over, 
Um, they were always um, this was always an offense that had yards per completion. That's what it is. It likes to attack down the field when you do throw. So, you know, he they averaged eleven in Denver in those three years. In the last two, they've averaged twelve here in Minnesota. So, not bad. That translated over pretty well, and for the most part, as you know, obviously it's better. Um, yards per attempt, that kind of goes up with the completion percentage. Obviously, yards per attempt will be higher the more passes you complete. So going from 60.2 to 68, that's a very large difference. <laughs> and that's probably the main thing. They There's competent quarterback play in Minnesota currently. And... Um, it will be interesting to see how much free reign he gets because I, Zimmer, he's older so and defensive. So we'll find out how much free reign Clint is really given with this offense because I felt like that was kind of one thing that kind of went under the radar in this whole search was who would he kind of respect enough because I feel like he respected Kubiak enough, well, Gary, to just kind of let him do what he wanted to do for the most part. Now, I think it also pretty much coincided that Gary liked to do what Zimmer wanted to do, which is why he was in Minnesota to begin with. But I don't know how many new wrinkles there will really be in this offense, if any, if they will be changing maybe some more things. But on the bright side, you will have more continuity. You're going to have the guy who's worked with our quarterback the last two seasons and... Each year coming off of that, you've had people be able, at least be able to make the argument that Kirk is coming off of his best season the last two years. So after 2019, people were saying this is his best year. And then 2020, you have some new reasons to say maybe 2020 was his best year. So I, I like that part. So that's good. Um, I know some people don't like it that, you know, I saw some things of, you know, nepotism like they were saying with uh, Adam Zimmer. I saw some things like that as well. And I, I think for the most part, this is probably the correct hire given the current state of the coaching carousel. And because I don't know who you guys would want that isn't this guy because I know Eric Bieniemy has uh, his contract running up, but they've basically said that contract's going to get extended because they just assumed he wouldn't have the opportunity to get it extended because they thought he'd be a head coach, but he is not, so they're just going to extend the contract. So that's not a real option. <laughs> and at that point, I don't know who you guys would really want if it's not Clint. So there is that. And I would like to know your guys' you know, thoughts, comments down below on the good stuff. And uh, like and subscribe. Super helpful. Until next time, I bid y'all adieu.